टू फोर्टी एंड थ्री सिक्सटी ओके सो इन दिस कन्फर्मेशन एच एच एंड सी एस थ्री एच इंट्रैक्शन आर इन वॉट ओके इन दिस कन्फर्मेशन वॉट एच एच एंड सी एस थ्री इंट्रैक्शन आर इन वॉट सो दिस इज द कन्फर्मेशन ऑफ प्रोपेन ओके सो हियर सी एच थ्री एच एंड एच एच इंट्रैक्शन आर इन्वॉल्व इन इक्लिप्स कन्फर्मेशन ओके सी एस थ्री एच एंड एच एच इंट्रैक्शन आर इन्वॉल्व इन इक्लिप्स कन्फर्मेशन सो दैट्स वाई दिस इक्लिप्स कन्फर्मेशन इज अ हायर एनर्जी कन्फर्मेशन ड्यू टू स्टेरिक हेंड्रंस बिटवीन युअर मिथाइल ग्रुप एंड हाइड्रोजन ड्यू टू स्टेरिक हेंड्रंस बिटवीन युअर मिथाइल ग्रुप एंड हाइड्रोजन in eclipse confirmation the dihedral angle is zero between cs3 and h so that's why the steric hindrance takes place takes place between hydrogen and methyl group and it having this hh interaction that's why the energy difference between these two confirmation that is eclipse and stagger confirmation is 3.3 kilo calorie per mole okay so the energy barrier between two confirmation is 3.3 kilo calorie per mole that is 0.3 kilo calorie per mole higher than the ethane higher than the ethane this difference is due to steric strain this difference is due to steric strain between methyl group of methyl group and hydrogen atom methyl group and hydrogen atom okay so <clears throat> and uh, in a stagger conformation we will get this stagger conformation at the hydrogen angle 60 180 and 300 and this is a more stable conformation and less energy conformation because the energy what are the energy uh, uh, the distance between your methyl group and hydrogen is 60 degree here the distance the cs3 and hydrogen are far away from each other and uh, uh, there is hydrogen this hydrogen hydrogen are far away so that's why there is a no steric hindrance are involved so that's why this staggered conformation is a more stable conformation staggered conformation is a most stable conformation and this is the energy profile diagram of your uh, propane okay so this e e represent eclipse conformation this s represent a staggered conformation okay and the energy difference okay this uh, eclipse and staggered is 3.3 kilo calorie per mole okay and that dihedral angle 60 120 240 and 360 you will get eclipse conformation and at dihedral angle 60 180 and 300 you will get staggered conformation and staggered conformation is a more stable conformation so this is the just revision that what we had learned in the last lecture now student <coughs> today uh, i am going to teach you the conformational analysis of butane conformational analysis of butane so when hydrogen atom of propane hydrogen atom one hydrogen atom of propane is replaced by methyl group is replaced by methyl group we get n butane we we'll get n butane or butane okay now let's consider the uh, free rotation let's consider the free rotation at c2 c3 at c2 c3 in butane so this your carbon number 1 2 3 and 4 1 2 3 4 let's imagine there is a rotation between c2 and c3 c2 and c3 so <coughs> at dihedral angle zero you will get uh, this your eclipse conformation at dihedral dihedral angle zero you will get this the eclipse conformation eclipse conformation okay at dihedral angle zero you will get uh, this eclipse conformation and in, in this eclipse conformation both the methyl group are uh, overlapping on one another okay so the methyl group present on carbon number 2 and the methyl group present on carbon number 3 is overlapping on one another and uh, so that's why uh, it say what uh, it is a eclipse conformation it having ch3 ch3 interaction plus it having two hh interaction it having one ch3 ch3 interaction both the ch3 ch3 group are overlapping on one another and plus it having hh interaction h h interaction but when you rotate this first carbon first carbon uh second carbon when you rotate this second carbon to 60 oh, okay so now here we are rotating this back carbon okay so when you rotate this back carbon to 60 degree we are rotating this back carbon to 60 degree okay you will get uh, this conformation and the 
angle between this uh, this CH3 to CH3 group is 60 degree and this confirmation is called as gauge first it is called as gauge first or skew confirmation it is called also called as gauge or skew confirmation so uh, this is the confirmation that is what uh, it having no CS3, CS3 and HH interaction are involved okay so <clears throat> this is the structure of that confirmation again when you rotate that back carbon to 60 degree you will get partially eclipse confirmation you will get what partially eclipse confirmation now why it is called as partially eclipse confirmation because what there is CS3 H interaction okay and this is first one is your fully eclipse confirmation first one is your fully eclipse confirmation because this CS3 group is directly overlapping on second CS3 that's why it's a fully eclipse confirmation and while this one structure number three it is a partially eclipse confirmation because it in there is no direct overlapping on of CS3 CS3 okay there is overlapping of CS3 H CS3 H and HH interaction CS3 H CS3 H and HH interaction okay so this is your partial eclipse confirmation now again when you rotate this back carbon to 60 degree you will get this uh, staggered confirmation you will get this staggered confirmation okay and here now look at this structure okay both the CS3 group both the CS3 group they are maximum away from each other okay and the dihedral angle is 180 degree and the dihedral angle is 180 degree okay there is no CS3 CS3 there is no HH interaction are involved okay both the bulky group they are maximum away from each other okay maximum away from each other it upon start okay what over there here what we are labeling this hydro uh, this CS3 group okay and uh, for your understanding when you rotate this this CS3 group will come here again when you rotate to 60 degree this CS3 group will come here again when you rotate to uh, 60 degree this CS3 group will come here and this dihedral angle okay this to this yes oh upon nabaka our rotation ka imagine kele imagine that uh, let's consider the rotation of, of rotation of c2 c3 maje ha tuza carbon number 1 2 3 apan fakt 2 ani 3 carbon rotate karto hai ha ha ani ha thik hai ha ani ha rotate kela mule tuza ha c3 ya group hai ani ha group pan rotate hota hai c3 group thik hai we are just rotating this carbon number 2 bond between carbon number 2 and carbon number 3 this is your carbon number how the carbon pila uh, ch3 group a th ch3 this is your second carbon uh, third carbon is your this circle circle my third carbon a and fourth carbon to the uh, methyl group a th and upon guy rotate curve to a uh, dot and a circle fucked up on carbon number 2 and carbon number 3 mother rotation curve to a th बाकी तुझा पहला जो फ्रंट ग्रुप है हा सी एस थ्री सी एस टू हा सेम असणार आहे याला ठीक आहे फक्त आपण हे मागचं रोटेट करतोय सो दिस नाव द डायहायड्रल अँगल इज वन एटी सी एस थ्री सी एस थ्री दिसा डायहायड्रल अँगल इज वन एटी अगेन वेन यू रोटेट ओके विल बिकम टू फोर्टी सिक्स्टी वन ट्वेंटी रोटेशन इज सिक्स्टी डिग्री इंटरवल सिक्स्टी दॅन अगेन वेन यू रोटेट वन एटी वन ट्वेंटी वन एटी 240 so now here again we are rotating to 60 degrees so cs3 group will come here okay now this is your partially eclipse this is your partially eclipse confirmation okay so here this uh, this is called as partial eclipse because it having cs3 h cs3 it having two cs3 h and one hh interaction it having two cs3 h cs3 h cs3 h and one hh interaction okay then again when you rotate okay you will get this gauge second you will get this gauge second or skew again when you rotate to uh, 360 you will get this fully eclipse confirmation you will get this fully eclipse confirmation now let's uh, discuss the stability now let's discuss the stability okay which one is most stable which one is most stable now among this six among the six confirmation of uh, butane okay this staggered confirmation staggered confirmation is a most stable confirmation staggered confirmation is a most stable confirmation because 
it doesn't involve any interaction okay both the bulky group they are maximum away from each other and the distance is uh, what one distance is what the distance is this 180 degree okay this both the bulky group are maximum apart from each other so there is no steric hindrance involved no steric hindrance involved so that's why this you are a staggered conformation is a most stable conformation staggered conformation is a most stable conformation now the second most stable conformation is a gauch second uh, gauch first as well as gauch second these are the same both are the same okay both are the same that's why you are naming as a gauch one and gauch two so the second most stable conformation is a gauch okay why this gauch is most stable second most because here the distance is 60 degree okay and uh, this ch3 group ch3 group they are maximum away from each other okay but it is less stable than uh, staggered conformation but it is less stable than staggered conformation and the reason is here the ch3 ch3 group they are maximum away from each other but here this ch3 the only distance is only 60 degree so there may be some type of interaction there is a, there may be a small amount of steric hindrance is there small what uh, the interaction is there there is uh, steric hindrance is there but th that is in a very small amount okay so that's why it is second most stable conformation that's why it is a second most stable conformation okay now <coughs> now uh, the third most stable conformation is partially eclipse partially eclipse conformation third most stable is partially eclipse conformation because it is in this conformation there is a no direct overlapping of ch3 ch3 it is a partial eclipse so that's why it having two ch3h interaction and one hh interaction it having two ch3h and one interaction one hh interaction while this fully eclipse fully eclipse is a less stable conformation fully eclipse is a less stable conformation and the reason is it having what fully eclipsing of ch3 ch3 group ch3 ch3 group that's why it's, it's a less stable conformation that's why it's a less stable conformation it having ch3 it having the ch3 ch3 and hh interaction that's why this your uh, fully eclipse is a less stable conformation okay so the stability order is staggered conformation let me show you the stability order okay so the stability order it is staggered conformation it is also called as anti-confirmation it is also called as anti-confirmation then gauch then partially eclipsed and fully eclipsed okay so the, this is the stability order decreasing order of stability order from left to right okay so staggered conformation is a most stable conformation gauch gauch is a second most stable conformation and uh, you are partially eclipse is the third most stable conformation eclipse is the least stable conformation okay now this gauch gauch is a more stable than partially eclipse but is it is less stable than staggered conformation now this your partially eclipse partially eclipse conformation is more stable than eclipse conformation and it is less stable than gauch conformation 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 less stable than gauch conformation now so fully eclipse conformation so we will get this fully eclipse conformation at dihedral angle 0 360 here two methyl group are closer to each other steric interaction observed and this is the less stable conformation this is the less stable confirmation this is the less stable confirmation this is the less stable confirmation less stable confirmation a second uh, second is your skew when you rotate to the 60 degree you will get skew or gauge first confirmation and this confirmation obtained at dihedral angle dihedral angle 60 and 
300 and 300 okay and comparatively less stable than staggered confirmation and more stable than eclipse and fully eclipse confirmation more stable than eclipse and fully eclipse confirmation and the confirmation obtained at dihedral angle 60 and 300 60 and 300 60 and 300 60 and 300 now uh, third one is your partially eclipse confirmation so this confirmation is obtained at 120 and 240 degree dihedral angle okay and less stable than watch confirmation and more stable than fully eclipse confirmation more stable than fully eclipse confirmation and the last one is a staggered or anti-confirmation so this staggered or anti-confirmation is uh, obtained at dihedral angle it's not a 180 it's a what 180 here is a it's a 180 so two methyl groups are maximum apart from each other and it is a more stable confirmation and it is a more stable confirmation so this is the energy profile diagram this is the energy profile diagram of butane okay energy profile diagram of butane so at a dihedral angle zero you will get this fully eclipse confirmation fully eclipse confirmation okay so the confirmation obtained at zero and uh, 300 0 and uh, 0 and 360 0 and 360 and here two methyl groups are closer to each other two methyl groups are closer to each other and steric interaction observed and this confirmation is a less stable confirmation this confirmation is a less stable confirmation because it is a higher energy confirmation potential energy okay higher energy confirmation now when you rotate this to 60 degree back carbon by 60 degree you will get gauge confirmation okay gauge first so it is also called as skew and this confirmation obtained at dihedral angle 60 and 300 this confirmation obtained at dihedral angle 60 and 300 60 and 300 okay 60 and 300 and this uh, skew or a gauge confirmation is comparatively less stable than staggered confirmation it is comparatively less stable than staggered confirmation and more stable than fully eclipse confirmation more stable than fully eclipse confirmation now the next one is uh, you are a partially eclipse confirmation partially eclipse confirmation so this partially eclipse confirmation obtained at dihedral angle 120 and 240 it obtained at dihedral angle 120 and 240 so this partial eclipse confirmation it is more stable than full eclipse confirmation and it is less stable than gauge and staggered confirmation it is less stable than gauge and staggered confirmation and the last one is your anti or it is also called as staggered confirmation so this staggered confirmation or anti confirmation it is a more stable confirmation it is more stable confirmation and it occurs at a dihedral angle 180 it occurs at a dihedral angle 180 and it is more stable confirmation because both the bulky groups ch3 ch2 they are maximum away from each other that's uh, that's why it is a more stable confirmation now one more point is that this gauge gauge first and second it is also called as synclinal it is also called as synclinal s y n cleaner c l i n a l synclinal and this your eclipse confirmation eclipse that is your eclipse confirmation that is your what uh, uh, partial eclipse okay both partial eclipse so that is called as anti clinal and your fully eclipse fully eclipse fully eclipse called as thin Periplanar, it is called as thin periplanar. While your staggered confirmation, it is called as anti periplanar. It is called as anti periplanar. Anti periplanar. Okay. So this your uh, gauge, it is called as thin cleaner. 
gauge is called as synclinal and your eclipse form that is partial eclipse it is called as anticlinal and your fully eclipse fully eclipse this one it is called as syn periplanar syn periplanar and uh, your uh, <coughs> and your uh, staggered conformation it is called as anti anti periplanar it is called as anti periplanar anti periplanar okay and the energy difference between your staggered and fully eclipse conformation energy difference between staggered and fully eclipse conformation is 4.5 kilo calorie per mole of energy okay for 5 4.5 kilo so then yes fully eclipse fully eclipse ha ah, syn periplanar fully eclipse syn periplanar so the energy difference between your staggered this one energy difference between staggered and uh, you are a uh, fully eclipse or you can also called as energy difference between anti periplanar and syn periplanar anti periplanar and syn periplanar is 4.5 kilo calorie per mole of energy 4.5 per kilo calorie per mole of energy and the energy difference between your uh, energy difference between your got and got and staggered conformation okay got chain this staggered conformation it is around uh, it is around it is around 0.5 it is around 0.5 because this energy difference is very less between gauge chain uh, staggered is around 0.5 and the energy difference between your energy difference between your this got and partial eclipse got and partial eclipse is 3.4 kilo calorie it's a 3.4 kilo calorie it's a 3.4 kilo calorie and the energy difference between partial eclipse and uh, your fully uh, partially partial eclipse and staggered conformation is 3.6 it's a 3.6 so this your fully eclipse conformation or it is co also called as syn periplanar fully eclipse or a syn peri periplanar it's a higher energy conformation it's a higher energy conformation it's a higher energy confer conformation and the energy difference between your uh, syn periplanar and anti periplanar that is staggered and eclipse conformation staggered and fully eclipse conformation is 4.5 kilo calorie per mole okay and the uh, this higher uh, this uh, uh, this what your uh, fully eclipse conformation it's a higher energy conformation and this energy difference is due to what fully eclipse conformation having CS3 CS3 interaction it having CS3 CS3 interaction both the CS3 group they are overlapping on one another both the CS3 group they are overlapping on one another that's why this uh, there is increase in energy there is a increase in energy due to what steric hindrance uh, the internal energy of this eclipse or full eclipse conformation increases okay so the molecule which having a higher energy that is less stable and while you are uh, the molecule which having less energy that is more stable so we uh, are staggered conformation or it is anti it is also called as anti periplanar it's a less energy conformation because both the bulky group both the bulky group that is cs3 cs3 they are maximum away from each other and in this anti periplanar in this anti periplanar conformation there is no cs3 cs3 there is no hh interaction are involved there is no cs3 cs3 and there is no hh interaction are involved that's why it's a more stable conformation that's why it's a more stable conformation
that's why it say most stable conformation second most stable is your gauge third most stable is partially eclipsed and fourth uh, least stable is your fully eclipsed or you can say that anti periplanar synclinal anti periplanar synclinal anti clinal and syn periplanar syn periplanar so this is the stability order anti periplanar most stable then your syn clinal anti clinal and syn periplanar syn periplanar so this is about your conformational analysis of your butane conformational analysis of butane when you replace one hydrogen atom of propane by methyl group we get butane now let's consider the free rotation of c2 c3 bond in butane so this we are uh, for our simplicity we are labeling 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so here uh, we are assuming that what there is a rotation between this c2 c3 okay so this is your newman projection formula of a butane so this is your first carbon second third and fourth okay so this is your first methyl group this dot represent this ch2 circle represent third carbon and this your fourth methyl group and we are labeling this fourth methyl group okay so at dihedral angle uh, zero this dihedral angle is zero you will get your <coughs> at dihedral angle zero you will get a eclipse conformation or it is also called as fully eclipse conformation fully eclipse conformation because ch3 ch3 and hh these are fully eclipse okay this is what there is overlapping between ch3 ch3 and hh hh that's what is called as fully eclipse conformation and it's a higher energy and less stable conformation it's a higher energy and less stable conformation and it occur at a dihedral angle 0 and uh, 0 and 360 0 and 360 and 360 and now when you rotate how you when you rotate this second uh, this third carbon to 60 degree this c3 group will come here get okay, this hydrogen will go here okay and this hydrogen will come in between this c3 and h okay so we will get this gauge first or a skew conformation gauge first or a skew conformation and this conformation obtain at a dihedral angle 60 obtain at dihedral angle 60 and 300 60 and 300 60 and 300 and this gauge or skew conformation comparatively less stable than staggered conformation less stable than staggered conformation and more stable than eclipse and fully eclipse conformation more stable than eclipse than fully eclipse conformation okay so it occurs at 60 and 300 uh, degree dihedral angle okay so it's a uh, <coughs> second most stable conformation after you are uh, staggered conformation again when you rotate okay this hydro this c3 group will come here and you will get another uh, three dimensional arrangement of this butane and this conformation is it is called as partially eclipse this conformation is called as partially eclipse conformation now look at this structure carefully look at this structure carefully in eclipse fully eclipse conformation there is overlapping between ch3 and ch3 but here it is called as partially eclipse because here not uh, here what ch3 ch3 interaction are not involved but here what ch3 h ch3 h interaction are involved okay uh, this partially eclipse uh, conformation having two CH3H interaction it having two CH3H and one HH interaction in and it having one HH interaction that's what is called as partially eclipse conformation and this partially eclipse conformation is more stable than fully eclipse conformation and while it is less stable than gauge and staggered conformation gauge and staggered conformation okay so this your partially eclipse conformation it occurs at a dihedral angle 120 it occurs at a dihedral angle 120 120 and 240 120 and 240 okay and less stable than gauge conformation and more stable than fully eclipse conformation and uh, uh, more stable than fully eclipse conformation okay so 
<coughs> now again when you rotate this back carbon to 60 degree back carbon to 60 degree this ca3 group will come here and you will get most stable conformation of butane and you will get the most stable conformation of butane that is staggered conformation or it is also called as anti periplanar it is also called as anti periplanar because both the group are anti that's what is called as anti periplanar okay so here this is uh, your uh, staggered conformation is the most stable conformation or anti periplanar is the most stable conformation because in this conformation both the methyl group both the methyl group they are maximum away from each other now look at this structure this ch3 ch3 they are maximum away from each other there is no ch3 ch3 there is no ch3h and there is no hh interaction are involved and it is a less uh, in less energy conformation there is a less energy conformation okay so here due to overlapping of this the energy of this molecule increases so that's why these two conformation are higher energy conformation and this is the least uh, less energy conformation because this conformation does not involve any ch3 ch3 does not involve any ch3h and hh interaction that's why it's a most stable conformation it is also called as anti periplanar anti periplanar and now again when you rotate you will get this partially eclipse conformation partially eclipse conformation partially eclipse conformation okay so this partial eclipse conformation it is more, more stable than full eclipse conformation and less stable than staggered and gauge. Again, when you rotate, you will get this gauge of uh, gauge second. Okay, so this gauge is the most stable than your uh, partial eclipse and full eclipse, and uh, while it is less stable than staggered conformation. And this is your energy, this is the stability order, staggered conformation gauge that is first and second partially first second and eclipse or you can say that anti periplanar anti periplanar then <coughs> anti periplanar synclinal anti periplanar synclinal then you are a anti clinal and in periplanar anti periplanar got syn cleaner partially eclipse anti cleaner and eclipse syn periplanar full eclipse syn periplanar okay full eclipse syn periplanar so energy difference between your anti periplanar this anti periplanar and syn periplanar is 4.5 kilo calorie per mole okay and uh, energy difference between energy difference between your gauge and partial eclipse is 3.4 kilo calorie per mole energy difference between partial eclipse and your staggered is 3.6 okay 3.6 and the energy difference is uh, between gauge and your uh, staggered is it is around 0 0.5 it is around 0.5 okay it is around, not so what the now what uh, the energy difference between your uh, gauge and uh, Staggered conformation it's a 0.9 kilocalorie exact is 0.9 kilocalorie per month so this is about the conformation of conformational analysis of butane any question regarding this hello Nah, 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 n